Volcano has melted the magma reservoir for itself. There are evidence for that, and the evidence is in the form of the seismograms that we have. As you can see, the minima of the volcano has been sh getting shallower for a while now. And today's minima is the second shallowest ever. So the tremors, actually, you know that they are caused by the bursting of bubbles inside the magma. This bursting creates these tremors, and our uh, uh, devices pick it that. By seeing a shallow uh, um, depth for a minima, we can actually say the distance between the source of the burst and our detectors is reduced. That can mean, mean there is a reservoir formed somewhere between the mantle and the crust on the top where the volcano will erupt. So, if we have such a situation, uh, what we have to uh, expect? The duration of the volcano eruption will be longer. It will be more consistent in the eruption. Huge volumes of the magma will erupt and uh, lava, as you can see here, has really spread very widely in this area uh, since the last week. It was covered for a while with a fog, but we can see that. And this was, uh, surprise, surprise, coincided with the time that we had the spring tide. It was a full moon. I'm not talking about the illumination of the parts of the moon. I'm talking about the mass of the moon, which is always there. We know in the Io, the moon of Jupiter, tidal effects are easily can be seen cycling. Is they're cyclic, practically. And on the Earth, in this volcano, and many of the volcanoes in this area, in Iceland also we see this, they're cycling. Nobody has explained to me, I've not seen any good explanation, why these cycles exist.